Alrighty guys, what is going on? Sir Lionheart here coming at you with a very quick video to show off a neat little trick and uh, essentially what I want to show off in this video are two specific tricks that you can use both using the QR code mechanic so very similarly to Strange Journey last year there was a password system in the game where you can kind of like uh, fuse a whole bunch of personas and then you can kind of make a password of the newly fused persona that you just made and What you could do is save the password Load a different file and use that password on a different file and essentially you could make a persona Right using all your resources power up that persona make that persona strong don't save your game Right just save the password and you could just load your previous save with all your resources intact but you could use the password that you created from the other timeline <laughs> i guess and you can use that password and load it into your uh save that has all the resources still and just continuously power it up essentially we're using that came that, that same concept for one of the tricks here but the first trick i want to show off here let's go to the velvet room Hey, Justine. How welcoming. Unlike your sister, Caroline. But well, anyway, the first thing we can just show off is just... Oh, okay. Let's go to Persona Fusion. Let's say if you want to get... Caladrius? I don't know this. This bird persona. You want to get this bird persona, but it's like... Oh, man, my Matadar and my Legion. I don't want to give them up. I want to keep them. I want to keep those two awesome personas. Well, you can. You can basically fuse those two up for this guy and keep them basically for free technically you you be able to get matador and legion back from the compendium right so i'm just gonna fuse this guy up i'm not trying to go for optimum builds i just just want to show off a demo just to demonstrate to you guys so we fuse up matador and legion right so normally you would just you know go to the compendium go here and try to get matador back matador and legion right so we want to get those two back legions nine thousand oh god you cost a lot buddy and matador is eight thousand nine hundred oh man that's a lot of money man i just wasted a lot of money right there dude you know what i'm saying so it's like oh dude i got this new persona but i just had to spend money to get my personas back or whatever so now i can get hua po right i can get fortuna still so oh no fortuna in order for me to fuse for Fortuna, I need to get rid of the Matador and the newly created bird persona that I just made. So that's even more money I gotta get rid of. You know? So I wanna keep Matador, but I want this new persona too, right? So essentially what, what we can do to offset the amount of freaking resources we have to spend and time we have to spend just, you know, getting these new personas and filling out the registry, what we can do, right? Look at this. Look at look at my much money. Man. I ain't got that much money no more, man. So we got Matter Dar again. You know we gotta keep him, and we want the bird dude because he was cool. Look how much money we ran out of money real quick just fusing two new personas, right? So, in order to offset that, what we can do is use Street Pass. We're gonna do Street Pass. We're gonna edit my book. And we're gonna go to Change Attached Persona. So this is a big. This is a big thing. This is the this is the the part in which you need to do if you want to basically um, make new personas for free. Essentially, this not, it's not free because it's gonna cost money to bring these guys back on the next when we reload our file. But it would cost significantly less, and we get to keep our personas. So what we want to do, we just created this guy. So we want to make a QR code of him, and we need to make him our attached P book persona. And we're going to update our information there. We're going to go to QR code, create a QR code. And what you're going to need is a way to capture this. You're going to need a way to capture this. So like the best and easiest way is to obviously have like a cell phone ready or something. Right. Or like if you have a camera that can display photos, just use that to take a photo of this QR code. Right. Boom. So what we also want to do, right. We made two new personas. So we're going to edit our book again and change our attached persona. And we're going to want to keep Fortuna, right? We want to keep Fortuna as well, right? 
So we're just gonna do that, and we're gonna come over here, update our P book, right? Go to QR code, create QR code. Right, so now we got Fituna we wanna take a picture of. So, boom. So I took a picture of both Fortuna using my cell phone. And now that we did that, we're gonna reload this file that I didn't save. All right, so the main thing you wanna do is after making all those fusions, Take the QR code, save them for later, load the same save file that you loaded from the beginning. All right, just make sure you did not save after fusing up those personas, because then this trick would be all for nothing. So we're just gonna load the file. We're gonna load that file. And we're gonna go back to the velvet room. And you'll notice something real quick. I still have 40K. Yeah, I got all my personas back, right? Yeah, Matador's still here, right? I got all my money and Matador's still here and all that. So what we wanna do is just go to the street pass, QR code, and we're gonna go ahead and scan a QR code. So boom. There we go. You remember that Fortuna we just fused up? Boom, registered. We're gonna scan another one. Boom. Register, yep. And now that we did that, we're gonna view our books. Bam. It's only 9,800 to get him back, right? Boom. So that's way better than just fusing and refusing, right? Because if we had to do that to get those two and you wanted to keep Matador and you wanted to keep Legion and whatever other personas, you would get them at a very discounted rate. We just got both of our personas back right there, right? So right now, what I also want to do is show off another way to use the QR codes and kind of just take advantage of the QR code street pass system. So I'm going to load my game again so I can get more money. So like what we want to do for this Cause this, this is the real thing I wanna show off. This is the real trick I wanna show off. And honestly, to optimize this trick a little bit, what I'm going to do is sit here and sell everything that I currently have, even if it's rare. Again, we don't wanna save it. We don't wanna save any of this. We wanna sell it. We wanna sell everything that we have just so we can gain a lot of money really quick, so. All right, we want to sell everything. So boom, 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 boom. Yeah, there we go. Look at that. We about to make money making bank. We can't sell the weapons because unfortunately you can't unequip weapons and use fists. Maybe Makoto can. Well, actually, I want to see if Makoto can unequip her brass knuckles. Nope, <laughs> she can't. So anyway, yeah. We sold everything that we wanted to sell. Now we have 78,000 instead of 40,000 yen. So we're gonna go to the velvet room and now we're gonna show off the second reason why this trick is kind of ridiculous with the QR codes. Because as you all know, sacrifice fusion. If you use a persona in the in a sacrifice fusion for the first time, the cost is free. But if you use it the second time, obviously like as you can tell from here, it costs a, uh, a decent amount of money to sacrifice that persona. So using this technique, what we can do is basically, let's say if we want to power up, let's say if we want to power up, I don't know. Let's say if we want to power up any strong persona or maybe even a, level, a low level persona that we might want to just keep for future because you know, you really like that persona or something. So let's, for an example, let's say if I want to power up slime. <laughs> let's say if I just want to, you know, keep slime throughout the entire game, or if I just want to just use slime for whatever reason, I can just sit here and power his ass up all day for free. So he's about to go up seven levels real quick. Boom. He just jumped by seven levels, dude. He has Poisma. He has Endure. That's actually really good. He's a level one persona with Endure. Huh. Actually, that's good information to know, cause in is and in, in you can pass it on. Okay, that's actually a really good skill to have for a level one persona. 
Anyway, um, yeah, we're gonna keep powering up him. We're gonna keep throwing Persona uh, sacrifices his way. Sacrifice for the almighty slime. The almighty slime. Yes, yeah, sacrifice for me, he says. Sacrifice for me. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You can't bring back any personas that are higher than the main character's level, the wild card level. So if your main character is level 26, uh, you wouldn't be able to do this trick if a persona is higher than that. We want to watch ourselves from going over the, the level when we do this. He wants, he wants to be level 26 or lower for this round of leveling. So what we can do now, we can just go to Persona Films. We can just go to this. Bring, I do have a DLC Persona, so boom. And the interesting thing about this, because you know DLC Personas, you can get back from the Compendium for free, right? You can get them back for free. And what we're gonna be able to do is essentially the DLC persona trick, but at a very um, safer, uh, in a safer way, and at the same time in a more generic way than the first game. Cause the first game required you to delete all your data just to get this guy back for free. But with QR codes, we can essentially do the same thing. It's just a longer process. So the DLC, the DLC persona thing actually works. It's just a longer process for it to work because you have to spend money as well to get the persona back on the next load of the file and then essentially get them back from the p book using money and then bringing you know all the personas out again it's just it's a this trick is basically a nerfed a nerfed way it's a nerf dlc trick <laughs> the dlc trick got nerfed heavily i want to say but anyway let's get queen mad back let's also get mithra back all right and we just want to go ahead and uh, sacrifice all the personas we just got back. Magatsu Izanagi into slime. We got money. That's why we have money right now. Is so we can optimize this a little bit more. We can optimize this. And we can uh, get as much level ups as possible. That's why we had got all that money. That's why we took all that time to get all that money. So boom Look at this level 21 slime dude So look at that we can do this one more time and we're just gonna use Mo Shuvu to level up slime And he's level 22 right now Look at that the slime went from like 11 HP to 20 HP and we get him afraid. This slime is looking real good, man. <laughs> ah, ha, ha. All right. Anyway, so what we want to do, we pretty much leveled up this slime as far as we could go. So what we want to do is go to edit my book, change it to as persona, go to slime, register slime. And obviously we're going to update the P book and create a QR code of slime. And we're just going to go ahead and take a picture of it using my cell phone, using my Apple iPhone SE, which is a piece of trash. Battery on it is dying, but it's whatever. We're going to go ahead and all that money we just used just to power up that guy. Just that one guy, all those monies, all the personas we just wasted to sacrifice all the free first fusions that we just wasted. We get back. We get all those first free fusions back by loading our file we get to load this file right and we get to sell all of our equipment again but we don't really need you to do that that'll just be a waste of time for this video so i'm just gonna go to the velvet room i'm just gonna go to street pass i'm gonna qr code scan qr code really quick you can see my <laughs> you can see me editing footage right now of this playthrough <laughs> but anyway what we're gonna do just scan that we're gonna register the p-book basically bring back the slime boom we got the slime back for only eight thousand dollars guys so now what we can do is continuously power up this slime by using more sacrifice fusion right and look at this the best thing about it is remember that dlc persona that we had guess what he's free again 
Megatsu Izanagi is free once again. So we get to do another free sacrifice fusion for a slime. And he's taking more experience to level up now. I mean, that's how it goes. The, you know, the higher level you get, the more experience it's going to take to level up or whatever. But, you know, that's how it is in any RPG. So we can basically get slime up to a high ass level here. Look at that. Look at that, man. He's looking good. Looking real good right now. Boom, level 23. Look at that. And the HP and SP does increase over time af after like several levels. Um, like the, the stats on the sub persona actually do um, power up over a little bit of time. Not significantly, but they do power up. So that's something to keep in mind. So you can technically probably use a lower level persona at the end of the game. Especially with how like you get card systems and, and then the skill system, the, the skill card system. It's pretty nice. Look at that. He's going to be level 26 by the end of this. Boom. Bam. So there we go. We got a level 26 freaking slime. Well, we can even like just sacrifice the rest of these guys and just lower the next level experience so that he's he'll be ready to level up on the next time we do this. Like, he's already ready to level up now. Like, 3,669 experience is all we need right now for him to level up. So if we do this again, if we just reload the file again, we can just keep doing it until he hits, like, level 29, probably. But right now, like like I said, the, the, the limitation on this trick is whatever level your wild card level is so because my wild card level is only 26 i can only make this persona level 26 so that's the limitation and on top of that it is it you know it costs money to do this not real life money but it, it does require you to have a little bit of money on you so you can you know level up personas like this but essentially we can just do this to save time if we need to like if we just wanted to level up a persona just to get a skill card from it we that's what we will want to use this trick for so we can just quickly do that and build our personas build some uh optimal personas so like this trick really helps just speed up levels really it's really convenient and i get to keep resources like it's it's really cheap but hey man it is what it is <laughs> it's not as cheap as using a qr code generator to get your personas because there is a qr generator code i'm not going to use it i'm not going to judge other people for using it because you know it's a game you play whatever you play however you want to you you paid your money to play the game and if you want to use a qr code generator you can use a qr code generator if you want to play on big dick risky mode you can play on big dick risky mode without you know using this trick if you want to but i'm using this trick because it saves time it's convenient and it's fun Sell all your stuff, get a whole bunch of money, power up a po uh, just whatever persona you want. Use that sacrifice fusion to power up whatever persona that you want to level. And then make sure they don't go above your wild card level when you're doing this trick. And then once you run out of money, once you run out of personas, you know, make sure you get the QR code before you reload the game, of course. And then, you know, once you reload, use the QR code scan, boom, you're good. So that's a pretty that's pretty much the gist of this trick. I hope you guys uh, understood it. I hope you guys understand the trick because it's kind of cheap. I love it. I love cheapness. I'm on risky. I'm doing whatever I can to make it, you know, a lot less of a headache. You know, I'm all about this life. I'm all about the cheap life, my dude. If I can save money somehow, I'm gonna use it. You know what I'm saying? If I can save time and resources, I'm gonna use it. All right, but one thing I will let you guys know, I will never use the QR code generator. You know, I've never used it and I probably will not be using it. But if you want to use it, hey, the link is in the description below. If you want to just use a QR code generator to save your ass like 90, you know, hours of frustration of just building the ultimate persona, go ahead and use it. I'm not going to judge you. It's there. The resources are there for people. But anyway, that's pretty much it for this video. If you guys have any questions regarding this trick, or if you guys have any questions regarding at all, um, just anything at all in this video, just feel free to hit me up down below in the comment section. 
I'm going to go work on making some more footage for you folks. And I'll see you guys for the next episode of Persona Q2 soon.